Hey guys, Jimmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you something that you probably wouldn't have expected to be made by PBC International of all companies. I'd say this more or less falls under a category in which this is something that TL Toys would make, not PBC International, but yeah. Obviously, you can see on the tag, this was in fact made by PBC. This is the animated Surfer Santa. Now, this is an item that, uh... I was kind of curious to know um, what it did, because there was no uh, videos of uh, of it in action on YouTube. And you know me, or at least if you do know me, you know that if I see an item on eBay and I try to search for a video of it, there's no videos. I make it my goal to uh, buy it myself to make a video so that there's actually a video of it in action on YouTube. So for those who want to see um, this item in all its details can actually um, get an idea of what it does. And who knows? Maybe they may be interested in purchasing uh, one for themselves on eBay. Hmm. Or if they find one at a thrift store or whatever. Like most PVC items, this guy only had a, a locked up motor and no split gears or anything, thankfully. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, um, appearance wise, how it's mechanically driven, all this really does feel like a TL Toys item. Despite the fact that it's made by PBC. Maybe PBC saw some of TL Toys animated Santas and took inspiration from it, who knows. But that's just my theory. And of course I had the original demo batteries, which I had the expiration date of, I think it was April 2008. It was sometime in 2008. Went in there and replaced them and uh, um, went in there and uh, freed of the motor. And oh yeah, I almost forgot to say uh, that um, this arm was actually snapped off. Because um, it was like hanging down. Um, and I didn't know why at first because I, I was like testing it out. Um... And also the head was having trouble moving at first, so I went in there and uh, rearranged all that, reattached the arm. And actually, the uh, the piece that the arm um, connects to the motor, sh the square shaft on the uh, inside the mechanism itself, is actually cracked. Yet it still manages to uh, sit on the uh, square shaft quite well. So thankfully, I was able to get this thing fully working with minimal issue. And uh, I suppose the one aspect about this guy that... Um, Possibly got it recalled. I don't know if it did get recalled, but uh, it should have if it wasn't. Is that you'll notice his hand on his uh, on his waist there? It almost looks like he's um, grabbing his junk there or whatever. But uh, that's just that's just me. But uh, I think it's supposed to look like he's grabbing onto his belly as he's like you know doing the hula or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, they really should have repositioned the uh, hand a little bit higher so it looks like he's grabbing his belly rather than his you know his pants. But anyways, his head turns side to side, his right arm moves, and his belly swings around. There's no mechanism in the uh, left arm, just the right arm. As he dances and sings in the midnight hour, or Christmas parody of midnight hour. So, here he is in action. So yeah, that's his activation in a nutshell. Um, PBC International items usually don't come with a box, except for like this guy or the uh, ornaments or whatever. But uh, this guy did in fact come with an original box. Uh, it's nothing really special. It doesn't really like give the item's name away. That would be on the back. But it does say, it just says, Happy Holidays, Give Me a Squeeze. But it's got a nice little uh, snowflake pattern to it and a present design, which is really nice. And, uh, it's got the, uh, it's severely scratched out, but that's supposed to be a Drug GM, uh, tag. It's got the Tagalongs logo down there, and the PBC logo down there. It says, Happy Holidays, Give Me a Squeeze. Here's the side, it says, Happy Holidays, Squeeze On Off, I'm Musical. Here's the back. It's mostly just plain, but it's got, like, the battery instructions right here. It says, In the Midnight Hour by Wilson Pickett and Steve Cooper, or no, C, uh, Steve Cropper, sorry. Copyright 1965, Cult of Music, Inc. 14-inch Surfer Santa, PBC International, Oxnard, California. Other side. 
And uh, this isn't the only guy to use this type of box. Um, some of PBC's early Christmas items, like the first generations of the Jumping Penguins and Poncho the Chihuahua mainly, have this type of box as well. Or at one point they did. And this guy actually does stand on a surfboard base. Let me get him out of the box so you can actually see that. Put the box off to the side. It's a really nice decorative piece. I don't see why PBC uh, um, didn't do things like this more often. Like, if they put their own original spin on a already done concept with animatronics, that I don't see what the big problem is. <laughs> I guess this guy falls under a category that uh, PBC didn't see deemed fit with their branding. I mean, I guess it was just a one-off item that they felt was worth trying. But uh, then once they realized that they they were more they had a bigger knack for singing bears and animated plush rather than uh things like this. I guess that's why uh this guy didn't make it very far in the market. But it's still a nice item overall. But uh yeah, there's the uh realistically detailed Santa face. Again, very looks very TL toyish. Yeah, seriously, you could like you could probably uh see something like this on a TL Toys Santa. The Hawaiian shirt with the uh Tropical Paradise background with the waterfall and everything. Looks very nice. Here's his swim trunks and the tag that reads PBC International. Bright and clear. Here's the back of the tag. And there's the surfboard base with the button on it. There's more of the uh, scenery. Oh, looks like there's little... I thought those were sharks. Those are actually dolphins. Okay. Here's the back. See it does hat. And the underside of the base takes uh three AA batteries. One battery goes um in one compartment and two go in the other. Battery warning sticker label and the on-off switch. And yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, play him again. And there you go, guys. That's the PBC International Surfer Santa. Now, you may think that uh, um, this would play Little Saint Nick, but if it did, it would be just like every other Surfing Santa item. So I'm gl I'm kind of glad they didn't choose that um, um, song for this item. It would have been a little too predictable. And besides, there's already a Surfing Santa, or a few of them, actually, that actually play Little Saint Nick. Mainly the hip-swinging Surfer Santa from uh, Jimmy, which came out in 1998. I'd say about... I'd say five or six years uh, before this guy. And of course, there's also the Cowabunga Claws by Cuddle Barn, which also came out uh, years after this guy. But uh, whatever your thoughts, um, this is definitely a distinct version of the Surfing Santa, and possibly the only distinct Santa you'll ever see, unless another one comes along. Go ahead and prove me wrong on that. Thanks for watching!